Hello, I'm Neil Hastings and I'm a technical architect at Phase 2 Technologies. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Site Preview System. The Site Preview System was built as part of the Content Staging Initiative. Uh, the Content Staging Initiative was funded by Acquia's Large Scale Drupal Member Program. You can learn more about the Large Scale Drupal Program on Teresa's blog. More information about the Content Staging Initiative within that program can be found on groups.drupal.org just search for large scale Drupal and then go to the content staging tab. Here's all the information we have about the project including all the deliverables we did for discovery, every discussion we've had, links to the issues of the different sprints and the coding, user story links we based the development upon, and all the contributed modules that have come out of this project. Today we're going to show a demonstration of the site preview system and how it works within Drupal. The goal of the site preview system is to show a site, a Drupal site, with different conditions applied to it. Right here I have a local demonstration, a uh, local site set up. Um, I have, I'm going to demonstrate for you today, the site preview system integrated with the interactive information bar and we're going to show integration with the state machine module, which is a workflow, mo work, workflow sort of module, which is integration with context and context field to revision layouts and with notes. So let's start by adding some content. Okay, add a few nodes here. Okay, so currently we have we have this node set up. Okay, let's just cut out this part here and make sure I add in the collection. We're going to send this to test collection one. Great. So now we have an unpublished node. Uh, we're not seeing on this page right now is there's a view block that shows all the published articles on it, um, ordered by the most recent article. Um, this is a block placed by the context field module, and um, we'll, we'll work on that more in a minute. So this is currently unpublished. So let's just go ahead and publish this for now. This, this right here is the interactive information bar. This is one of the modules that came out of um, came out of the content staging initiative. But this bar, this places uh, a bar at the top of every entity and every um, every page, so you can put uh, administrative interactive administrative tasks in it. So we'll publish this one for now, and okay. So we have see we have a published node over here, and a published published my awesome block, awesome. So, all right, so let's create one more node. This one we're going to start and be unpublished at the beginning. Cause collection two, save it. All right, so let's check out what the site preview system does. So I'm looking at a node currently. Uh, this is an unpublished node. This is the published node. And let's go ahead and schedule and look what look what the site's going to look like with test collection two active. Remember, we assigned this revision to test collection two. Push the preview button, and now you see that this article shows up in the list of the view. And anything with a yellow box around it, the site preview system puts this yellow box around. Um, so you know that that content has changed on the page. That's great. Um, we can actually also do interactions from this preview mode. So let's go ahead and publish this revision. Beautiful. Cancel out. And we're still good to go. That's all great. Let's go look at, let's add a new revision to this, this node. Now this is, um, we're going to use State Machine to control the revision. So whenever I edit a published node state revision, state flow automatically creates a new revision for me my new title and let's just, let's just no collection for now so one thing you got to notice is that it goes when state machine takes you to the node revision view page which would be, which would normally be node slash nid slash revision slash revision id but set your set preview system takes over that takes that over and takes you to the, what the site would look like with this node live so as you see this node would be published this is over here and you have the block over here with the new title. This is actually a view, updating the view. So let's also go ahead and change the layout. 
This is using um, context field. So we have a, there's a new uh, branch within the context field module that allows us to have a context per revision of a node. So we're going to go ahead and edit the revision on this node, move the block from here over to here. Come on. There we go. And done. And save. Okay, let's stop editing layout. Great. So this is the new revision. Preview it over here. Let's go ahead and cancel it. All right, see so back over to this side. Let's go ahead and go back to revisions tab. So if you're using um, any kind of workflow based module and you want to preview what a, a change is going to look like before you publish it, this is quite, kind of how you do it. So you click on this and it takes us back and the block has moved over to the other side. So you're actually viewing a layout change before you can publish it. So this looks awesome. Let's publish it. And the last demonstration I'm going to show you is a um, last demonstration I'm going to show you is time-based. So we'll make one more article. And let's go ahead and publish now. And we're going to set a new revision. See, there it is. Great. So let's set a new revision to be scheduled. I like magic changes. So let's just go and say that. And we're previewing it. Let's go ahead and preview. Let's schedule this revision to go live tomorrow morning. Great. So we're still previewing it. So let's cancel the preview here. This is back to the normal page. Everything looks cool. Let's go ahead and go in here and view the site, what it would look like after this after that revision goes live. Yeah, there we go. This has been changed. This has been changed. You notice the revision status also changed to reflect what that revision would the revision is. You can actually perform actions on it. When you're previewing it. If we would have changed the block, it would have moved over here. It's very, very cool to see all this stuff happen in a live preview. And this is persistent. So if I move anywhere I move across the site, whether I go home, and you see, look, it actually affects regular queries too. Um, any node page, it's all updated. So it's persistent, persistent throughout the site. The last thing I'm going to show you in the system is um, how to take a collection of nodes and publish those all at once. So you can stage a site and then just publish it with one click of a button. So let's add some more revisions on these nodes. We'll call them all title three. And we're going to time to a class collection one. I've got scheduled to go. Cancel our preview mode. Four, collection one, save. Super, because of preview mode. The last one, my new title. Ah, box over there still. Let's do title five. This collection one, save. As we could have done more changes, layout changes, etc., to this, but for the sake of brevity of the demo, we're just going to show the title changes. Looks good. Cancel it. All right. So now we have this new module um, we call Node Revision Administration. It's basically the same thing as your Content module, but you can find this Content Revisions tab right here in the same place next to Content. This basically allows you to administer your content on a uh, per um, revision level. Um, this is useful uh, if, you're, if you're using modules that work on a more revision level like Workbench does and in revision scheduling and state machine and workflow and all those mo revisioning modules, all those modules that move revisions to workflow, this is a good way to administer them. So we have a, so we're going to take everything in test collection one and we're going to select all of them and see the state actually is reflective of what the workbench or the what state flow module is for that revision. This actually does integrate with the different modules, um, different workflow modules. And we'll go ahead and publish all those at the same time. 
Awesome. They're all published in here. If we go back to the home page, you can see Title 3, Title 4, Title 5 are all published. So it's a matched publishing of content. So that's really useful if you're staging content for product releases or for elections or any of that stuff. Um, this is a great demonstration. I'm really excited to show it to all of you. Um, to more, learn more information, to really get involved in it, um, two places you can visit. Uh, go back to the CSI um, the Content Staging Initiative homepage. Lots of good information there. Some of the documentation of the architecture is a little out of date, um, but we're working on that. Or you can work on that too. Um, and the Site Preview System Project page is SBS. And here you can go ahead and get the code, check it out, um, log issues, uh, test it, whatever you need, add more integrations. It'd be awesome for you to help. Be great. Um, I want to thank everybody for listening. Have a great day.